Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the hash rates for the RTX 5080. I have the Asus Astro, really overpriced card, but focusing on the crypto mining performance and hash rates that I do with every new GPU re release, we have the RTX 5080 on deck. I've done this before on any generation, the 40 series, the 30 series, the 20 series, the 10 series, the 9, uh, 900, like the 980 Ti. And I'm going to continue to do it. I haven't got my hands on the 5090 yet, but all this data is going to be linked down in the description on Reddit. I usually do a data dump where I just dump all the hash rates from all my testing. Uh, but this card, because it's so beefy, right? Four, four slot design card. Um, it the, the heat sink, the cooler itself, as you can see from this picture, is designed for a 5090. So temps are really good. Memory temps uh gpu core temps are really good because this thing can handle it but when you get into the 5090 category i'm assuming it's going to be a lot hotter than the 5080. Uh, it's obviously power limited but you can overclock these things from a gaming perspective you can overclock it pretty good from a mining perspective to be honest don't get this card if you're just doing it for mining go get a 7900 xtx go get a 4080 super or ti or whatever else like this card is meh as far as gaming performance and mining performance per watt, it's meh and it's not worth it. It's not worth the money, especially if you can't get your hands on one and you're trying to get uh, pay scalper prices. And I do not recommend it at MSRP, let alone scalper pricing. But I provided all the data, you know, the card, basically the core or the mem peaked at 72C on, on the more memory intensive algorithms. While on average was like 68, the core only got to a high of 64.3 when I was testing out multiple algorithms, average of 57, about 55 to 57 degrees Celsius. In the software, like hardware info, for some reason it was saying the hotspot temperature was 255. I'm just assuming there's no temperature sensor or it can't detect it. So they removed the GPU hotspot temperature. Um, and I obviously adjusted power limits, stuff like that, ran out of stock. So all my settings and configuration uh, when these things are clocked up, like say for example, a thousand uh, offset on the mem will boost it up to 15,800 megahertz or 2633 megahertz. And then the core would do like 2200, maybe a little bit below 2200 or a little bit above 2200. We can push it to 2300 megahertz if we really wanted to. Um, I did do a little chill live stream, not monetized whatsoever. It's just music while I'm talking on certain parts and then providing uh, some of the results but we got qual here uh basically the best one that i found is to sit around that 70 percent power limit right and push the mem um as high as i could go and 300 and it looks like i could push the mem even further so i went all the way up to 1600 and i still feel like i have more headroom it's still stable and i pushed the core up to 300 netting me 61.6 mega hash at 250 watts that's not too bad uh, a Leo miner didn't work as you can see here it's blank like there's nothing there also warthog didn't work as well on bz miner certain like it didn't get it didn't initialize uh there's some other tokens or algorithms that the card wouldn't initialize on unfortunately but kapow let's say uh for example uh 70 power limit right 280 watts 62.5 mega hash plus 200 in the core plus 1600 in the mem Regal Miner, Auto Lycos, uh, the best one I saw. Again, shooting kind of in that 70% power limit, not leaving it stock, because uh, stock, it only goes so far, right? It still, it won't go above, you know, 200, uh, 2,250 megahertz at stock. It does more like 2145. But when we adjust the power limit and push the core up a little bit, we got 304.2. Um, and it's basically either 172 watts or 170 watts. So even if we brought the core down, we don't fall that far uh, on at Ergo at least. And then moving over to SRB Miner, kind of same thing, about 170 to 175 watts, 100, 301 mega hash, uh, whether you add core or mem or just minus the core. LOL Miner 304 was about the best so either regal or lol miner seems to be the best for the 50 series i'm gonna tell you that and then srb miner for some of the other coins that you're looking to mine alephium not that you would probably mine this product this gpu 70 percent power limit once basically under 200 watts 2.74 giga hash on uh telestia uh prog pal variant uh, 280 watts 
uh, 200 core, 1600 mem. Again, you could push that core to like 300, 350, and probably get a little bit more, maybe like 350, 330, 135, excuse me, 136, somewhere in there at 280 watts. Ironfish, 83.3 uh, mega hash at 212 watts. LOL miner, 82.8 at 212. So again, SRB miner on this particular algorithm beat out LOL miner by just a hair. SRB miner on who hash, which is pug dagger hootsat. You got 48 mega hash at 214 watts. Um, again, minusing the core and just boosting up the mem. Uh, if you add the core, you're going up one watt or one or two watts, but there's really no point. Uh, Wag Layla, a product that I consult and help the team out with, uh, would love to have you, by the way, if you jump into the Discord. 1742 mega hash at basically right underneath 200 watts. Uh, we got 1172 when we were at 142 watts. So right in the middle, again, that 70% power limit it seems to be the sweet spot for Conflux. 123 mega hash at 277 on Regal comparing to LOL Miner. We got 124, so Regal did better in this one at 266 watts. So we lost, we, we were pulling less power, but getting higher, a little bit higher hash rate with Regal Miner. So depending on the algo, like I said, either SRB beats one or Regal beats the other. So just choose whichever miner, depending on the product you're focusing on. 4.48 giga hash or uh, graphs uh, for Cortex at 212 watts and 51.7 uh, KHS for Xylus at 165 watts. And then we got either 48.1 at 233 or 50.3 at 242, which is Sky Doge on Wild Rig Miner. I didn't put the version, I probably should put the version in there. And Sky Doge is the most profitable token for this thing to mine, which is funny to me. If you look at hashrate.no and you plug in the information, you are making 30 cents, 25 cents a day, positive profit at 15 cent per kilowatt hour, where every other token is negative 12, negative 30, negative 50, negative $1.40. Um, so Sky Doge is the most profitable at time of filming. But again, it's the, the whole GPU mining scene is just not exciting as it used to be during the Ethereum days. So Regal Miner on Radiant. 1.85 giga hash uh, at 190 watts. Another project that has fallen down like Caspa, Lithium, so on and so forth. I did test out ETH hash. So that's Ethereum proof of work or ETC hash. They're basically the same. And it looks like the best one I could get is about 229 watts, right? 123.5 mega hash. Uh, somewhere in that area. So similar to a 4090 in that regard maybe a little bit under in some algorithms uh but yeah so 126 to 123 mega hash on etc or eth hash around 228 to 230 watts and i tested all the other algorithms uh via the awesome miner benchmark awesome miner is an easy to use tool i've done videos on it it's free um you can pay for the subscription but you can just go and set up a profile, set your miners in mind. You can see a lot of these, if we kind of zoom in here, you can see a lot of these algos are zero. Like the miner didn't initialize, right? So there's your Alum number, there's your Abilene number, or excuse me, your Alum number, your Auto Lycos number, you know, your Blake 2B, your Blake 2S's, which this is wrong, right? Don't worry about this. What you're looking for here is watts when you see the watts that means it got an actual test result so a loom 102 watts and this is at stock settings no no tuning whatsoever 227 mega hash on auto lycos at 172 watts which obviously if we go back to auto lycos up here it's about on par with the stock settings with uh, srb minor so just look for the watts and then once you get to the product you're looking for like blake 3s 3.63 at 256 watts. Kryptonite GPU 8.8 kilo hash at 313 watts. Kaku cycle 12 hashes at uh, or grass at 226 watts. So on and so forth. So you can go to Reddit. You can look for the algo that you're interested in, and then uh, you know just look at the watts. And if the watts have a number on it, that means it did successfully initialize the miner. Uh, but not all algos and not all miners fully can utilize the rtx 50 series 
uh, GPUs just yet. There's still some optimizations and tweaks that need to be done. I know a number of my colleagues already produced videos of the hash rate of these cards, but I just wanted to throw you this data as I've always done every GPU uh, release and put it all on Reddit for you guys to go ahead and comment and add your own data, your own testing. What's the hash rate you're able to get? What are clock settings, power limit, temps that you saw with your GPU and GPU model? Please feel free to come and add your own data to this. But that is going to do it for today's video. So do me a favor on the way out. Hit that like button, get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out additional links in the description. that will support the channel and what we do here. I am still hunting for a 5090. If you are able to get one, at msrp and there's some way we can work it out i'll help you cover shipping whatever please let me know but i'm not going to get scalped i'm not going to pay 2x 1.5x 0.5x over msrp just because we want to take advantage of this low supply high or excuse me high demand low supply situation uh like the scalpers and people that just take advantage of others anyways get out of here have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you next one mm -hmm.